Konnichiwa, everyone, and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today, we're going back to Tokyo Disneyland to explore more of the park. We'll go on rides that we've experienced in Disneyland and Magic Kingdom, but Tokyo is the best of both worlds, including Haunted Mansion Holiday inside the Magic Kingdom version of the ride and the coolest version of Star Tours. We'll see one of the best daytime parades we've ever seen. We'll eat some more iconic Tokyo Disneyland foods, including our favorite meal of the entire trip. And of course, we'll have some fun Come with us on this adventure. There's some pieces of Fantasy Springs waiting to be assembled. Can't wait. On the monorail ride over this morning, we saw Mount Fuji. We had no idea you could see it from all the way over here. I'm gonna start things off today at the World Bazaar. This is their version of Main Street. And we're hungry, so we're gonna go to the Great American Waffle Company. And this is iconic. They have the Mickey waffle, and they have a special one just for Halloween. It's chestnut whipped and maple topping. I think the maple topping is just like maple syrup. But I should tell you that you need to get here early. People rope drop this place. There's hour long lines to get these Mickey waffles. And also, it's hard to get seats. People in Japan like put their stuff on the table to call it before they even like get in line to eat. So hard to find seats, but I'm happy because I got my Mickey waffle. I don't know what makes this better than the Mickey waffles in America. You see them making them fresh and hot right behind the counter. Five out of five. Ordinary adventure star. I'm just calling it now. Kids are gonna try it, but I'm, I'm telling you, ordinary adventure star. We waited like over an hour for this and I think it was worth it. Ordinary adventure star perfectly golden and then fluffy on the inside and it's so cute i feel like it's cuter than the ones in america yeah ours don't have a mickey hand on them yeah this is so cute good thing we got two of them one thing i think makes world bazaar unique is it has like this covering so if it was raining it wouldn't be raining on main street here and all the windows have like these really adorable displays featuring disney characters from mickey and friends to moments from the animated film. This one right here is celebrating the 40th anniversary of this park. And that's a good segue because we're on Center Street, which leads to the Magic Shop, which I've been wanting to check out. They actually have merchandise for their Magic Shop here. I wish they had merchandise in the States. So if you put a coin in the top of there, it shrinks it and it goes into the little box. They have a bunch of the same magic tricks that we saw over at Disney Sea. I'm still gonna have to buy some of these. But they also have some Tenyo tricks. And these are like some serious magic tricks. Wow, the magician in the magic shop is like such an amazing demonstrator. You just like on a marathon of showing magic tricks to sell here and selling kids. Kids are buying it. He was selling me. I was like, <laughs> do I want to buy all this stuff? I don't, but now I do. Check this out. So it's a bag. And you put the garland in with a rope and then they become attached to the garland. The thing I love about this is it's magic that was created for Disneyland. Like those garlands are the same magic garlands that you can find all around this park, celebrating the 40th anniversary. They even have a Disney Tokyo magic kit. Look at the kid. That could be you. <laughs> and right next door to the magic shop, I noticed something on this door. Familiar logo. I didn't know that they had a Club 33 at Tokyo Disneyland, but it makes sense. Now we're gonna go to an area of the park that we have not explored yet, and that is Toontown, which is a little bit different than the Disneyland Toontown. They have mini style studio? I need a personal stylist. So if Minnie is willing to do the job, I'm all for it. I know we just got a new Toontown, 
but did our Goofy's Paint and Playhouse look like this? Because this one looks so cool. Yeah, this is like a mixture of like our old Toontown, so it's giving me the vibes. Like they even have the old fountain, which I miss. Do you think we're the only ones who like rope drop Toontown? Probably. Like, I'm looking at Donald's boat and I'm like, we used to be able to go up to the second level. I know. Their Toontown is so awesome. It's in such good condition. And Chippendale's treehouse still exists here. This is where they keep their cashew butter. Yeah, their peanut butter and their acorn butter. They got all their <laughs> memories hanging out here. Why did they take this away from us? I don't know. I don't remember the one at Disneyland having these like acorns hanging down. I could be wrong. I'm so happy. Tokyo Disney is just my happy place. Magic is still alive here. Oh, I think this is where you turn the acorns into butter. Look, they're saving some for Mickey, Minnie, Roger, Goofy, Donald, and this is for Good Time Cafe. Everything here is just so adorable. Will you take my photo? Okay. There's Chippendale topiaries. And today's vending machine appreciation post is for Toontown. Look at these. And they even sell Coke in this one. This might be a new contender for a top vending machine. It really is like a bizarro version of our Toontown where they have like a ton of covered seating, which is something we could have sorely used. My favorite gas station fishies are still alive in Toontown here. And they have like these cute Halloween decorations behind them. I need my photo here. Do <laughs> you think they speak English? No, it's going to be Japanese, Mickey, and it's going to be amazing. Haha! Are you Minnie? I thought I was going to be a little bit of 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 a it brought a tear to my eye. Being here brought a tear to my eye because this is the Toontown I remember like growing up. Yeah, it's but, nostalgia. Yeah, but this is just like so much bigger and like they actually like maintained it and it's, you know, it's not falling apart like the Toontown in Disneyland was. I literally have a tear. Let's go on Roger Rabbit. Do you want to go on Roger Rabbit? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to the Disneyland version. It's been a while since I've rode that, but it was just fun to hear Roger Rabbit talk in Japanese at the end. Yeah, they didn't change Jessica Rabbit. Though. Yeah, so she was still, she was not Detective Jessica or whatever she is in Disneyland. But the, the ride was just so immaculate. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Every effect was working. It was, yeah, awesome. The hardest part of that ride is like controlling the steering wheel so you don't spin. I think most people want it to spin, but yeah. Ketra doesn't want it to spin. No, I like to keep it nice and steady so it like hurts your hands trying to hold it still. But we managed. Oh, looks like the Good Time Cafe is an actual place. And that's where we're going next because they have some interesting looking food. The presentation of the food here is just next level immaculate. Like they put it in these cute little boxes and bags as opposed to D Disneyland's Toontown where they just put it like in a, a paper bag and it's like greasy and like does not look good. Here, everything looks cute. And what I'm gonna try is the Mickey pizza. And this says it has cheddar cheese and sausage. And upon further review, it looks like it also has corn and pepperoni on it. I don't know if I've ever had a cheddar cheese pizza before, but it's cute and it's Mickey shaped, so why not, right? I feel like this is one of those iconic items here that we had to try. It looks good, right? Yeah. Who doesn't want corn on their pizza? So this is nothing that special. It is really cute, but it just tastes like a theme park, cafeteria, school type of pizza. Corn actually is good. It adds a little bit of sweetness to it. Probably give this like a three and a half out of five. It's not terrible, 
it'll get the job done, and it's cute. But it's no flop over pizza. But it's no flop over pizza, you're right. The flop over pizza, although the presentation's worse, is so good. Next up, I got one of the most iconic items in all of Toontown, and that is egg and chicken on a Chinese bao bun. And they look like little Mickey hands. They are so cute. They're so cute, and it looks like there's some lettuce in there, and it looks like the egg might be an egg salad sandwich. They were not really clear with their menu item, with menu description. <laughs> it's a weird combination. Chicken and egg salad sandwich and a bao bun. But it kind of works. Is it the best thing ever? No. Is it cute and Instagrammable because it has uh, the Mickey hands? Yes. I like the bao. I like this. I'd give this a four out of five Peters. This is a solid choice. I actually have ears shaped like the sandwich that we just ate. I've seen these and I've been wa waiting until we tried it because I didn't want to be a fake fan, but now I feel like I have to get it. This was like 2,000 yen, which is around like 13 bucks. So, I mean, I could have not get it. Ears like that at Disneyland would be like $30. The fact that the fairy godmother is a meet and greet character here, just walking around with that creepy mask on, is everything. Next up, we're gonna go to the Haunted Mansion, but it is Haunted Mansion Holiday Nightmare. It is transformed into Nightmare Before Christmas. Haunted Mansion Holiday at Disneyland is one of my favorite rides, so I'm excited to see how this is different. Yeah, but I think this is the Disney World version, but they don't have Nightmare Before Christmas, so it's gonna be like weird. Yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be different. I can't wait. Halloween town ni wa nani kana tarinai. Sandy Claus ni naru koto o keshin shita. It's already so good. <laughs> so used to the haunted mansion holiday in Disneyland. This looks so different. It's already a lot darker in here. My eyes like aren't adjusted. Yeah. That was so different. There were so many different effects, so many different characters. Yeah, and because of the beginning part, there's just so many extra scenes added that we don't have at Disneyland. But this, this makes me wish that Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom would I get. I know. I think the biggest difference was Oogie Boogie was not at the end. He was in the beginning. Yeah, that was kind of strange. Yeah. So the question is, which one's better, this or Disneyland? I'm going to say Disneyland. See, I like this one better. There's just like so many more things going on. I don't know, they're both so different. Don't make me choose. <laughs> Keep running into these random meeting greets all around the park. 
Like this one was for like for a character from Pinocchio. Yeah, I think Pinocchio is like really popular here because there were so many people with like little stuffed animals and dressed up and with purses and they were so excited to meet like the villains of Pinocchio. It was <laughs> so awesome. You never see those characters walking around like in America. Yeah, only in parades or special yeah. events. Next up we're gonna go see the daytime parade. It's called Harmony in Color. I'm so excited. We got like amazing seats. Let's go. <laughs>
was incredible. That main song, I might like it better than Magic Happens. They only do the parade <laughs> once. I wish they did it again because I would totally watch it again. They should do it twice a day. What the heck, Disney? Yeah. <laughs> Kitra's like, we can come back another day and see it again. I think we should, honestly. <laughs> I think our final day we should come back and just like line up for the parade at 8 a.m. <laughs> so they don't have a Disneyland railroad here. They have something called the Western River Railroad. And that's because it goes around the Rivers of America and Jungle Cruise, and that's it. So it goes around like the west side of the park. Because that train ride is not transportation around the park like the Disneyland Railroad. It's just a ride. It starts and ends at the same place. Yeah, but I was not expecting the dinosaur scene. Oh like, yeah, that I wasn't took me that took me by surprise. And there were so many animatronics. Tokyo Disneyland cherry picked like what's the best things from Walt Disney World? What's the best things from Disneyland? Oh, we don't need the Grand Canyon, but we want the dinosaurs. That was great. That was a good time. I'm glad we did that. Yeah. Next up, we went to Splash Mountain. This is the last remaining Splash Mountain on the planet. And it turns out the, the best. best. We weren't allowed to film it, but you guys just have to believe us. It was epic in every way. Splash Mountain is my favorite ride, or it used to be my favorite ride. I guess technically it still is since it exists here. But that was the best version yeah. that there possibly could be. It had so many animatronics. They were all super cute. There was ones where like they were walking and doing things that I didn't think were possible for me. Yeah, before. and you didn't really get that wet, which is like yeah. the second best thing. I mean, I got a little wet. Peter got a little bit yeah. wet. <laughs> but like, compared to the one that used to be at Disneyland, like you got drenched on that. Yeah. It was like a tidal wave coming over. This one, it was just like a splash. <laughs> love it, love it. Thank you so much. Next up, we're gonna head to the Hungry Bear restaurant, which looks so much better than our Hungry Bear restaurant. It looks like a little town. And inside there's like a piano playing by itself in the corner. That's great. Anyways, I got the fried pork cutlet curry. And in Japan they call this tonkatsu, I believe. You can either get it mild or medium spicy. I got it medium spicy. And here at Hungry Bear, they're known for their curry. Like so much so that they actually sell it so you can take it home and make it yourself. By the way, I noticed this play has a bear on it and it's sponsored by House, which is a company here. Every single ride and restaurant at Tokyo Disney is like sponsored by some company. I wonder why that, if that's like how it's more well maintained than the U.S. parks. Uh, anyway, so let's try this. The pork cutlet, so good. It's crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. This curry is so flavorful. This is my favorite dish out of anything I think we've had here at Tokyo Disneyland Resort. Five out of five here. What I also love about this restaurant is you can get the melon fanta, which is hard to find around the resort. You can get a side of shredded cheese to put on your uh, curry, and that makes everything better, obviously. And you can get a beer here. Like, I feel like this restaurant has it all. This looks amazing, and it smells so good. I feel like you could smell it like walking by. And this place always has a line. Every time we walked by, there's been a line, like, to the street. This gets the Ordinary Adventure star, but you know what would make it even better? If I had the cheese on top. I should have got the sided shredded cheese. That would only make it better. This cheese makes everything better. But I feel like this is the way to go if you're coming here and get the pork cutlet. It's delicious. I'm sad it's like our final day. We're not gonna be able to come back. We're gonna have to get some to go. 
like the little packages to go and then just make it at home every day until we come back to Tokyo. So right across from the Hungry Bear restaurant in Western Land, they actually have this little spot where you can make custom luggage tags. And I just think this is such a fun souvenir. It's super cheap. It's only 1,500 yen. And they customize it by putting your name on it. So I got Chippendale and it says Kitra. And then I love on the back it says Tokyo Disney Resort. And then Peter got Mickey Mouse. I just think that's so fun. I love that. Yeah, I like a customized gift. Yeah, now we could put this on our bags and we'll always remember this vacation. Next up, we're gonna go to Adventureland where they have the version of the Enchanted Tiki Room, but it's been taken over by Stitch. They had this in Disney World for some time, but like fans revolted and then they put it back. I've never gotten to see this or experience it. Yeah, what does that mean that Stitch takes over the Tiki Room? I don't know. I guess know. we'll find out. We'll find out. That's supposed to be Maui. Looks nothing like the rock. <laughs> So that was actually a lot of fun. I like that they modernized that they added Stitch, but I can see why people probably were mad. I'm surprised I'm saying this, but I think the original might be better. It's a classic, it's from Walt Disney. We only saw Stitch at the very end, and he only sang one song, and then it was like over. But it was cute. Next, we're going on Big Thunder Mountain, which might be the last big attraction that we still have not gone on yet. California Reign Supreme. That is my favorite. Yeah. This was fun, but I don't think it was as good. I was expecting more animatronics. Yeah, there wasn't as many animatronics, and then it lacks like the firework scene in the cave at the end. Yeah, the dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> the fireworks. Yeah, the dynamite. Which, you know, it was still a lot of fun. This yeah. was something that we got like the 40th anniversary, like free fast pass for. Yeah. So thankfully, we didn't have to wait in like the hour long line. But, I hate to say it, Disneyland California is my favorite. I've heard Paris. I know, is I've, better. Heard, I've heard Paris is like the best, but we, we haven't been there yet. So once we go there, we will give you our <laughs> definitive ranking. <laughs> but it's still good. Yeah. Still I good. love this ride. It's one of my favorite roller coasters. Like it's my one of my favorite rides at Disneyland. So it's a good time. What is this a riverboat for ants? <laughs> good one. How are we supposed to fit on here? I don't know. Maybe they'll shrink us down.
の音楽の輝けるシャンそうは言ってもそんなに難しいっぱい<笑>じゃあ最後までごゆっくりお楽しみフェアワンドキーはご存じ知事ですよジグゼンエンディ君も一緒にさあ行くよ昔々のお願いだったら That's where you spend your time 忘れ物はしないでよいい When I was young and in my prime I thought I never could marry All the guys that turned me on Turned me down He hardly knows The heart he's breaking Blood on the sand Wow, they actually have some Western land merchandise. They don't actually have a lot of like land specific merchandise or ride specific merchandise. It's mostly like characters. These are so cute. Oh, those are cute. They look so Western. <laughs> <laughs> you can get yourself a hand towel because. They love their hand towels. I love this Western Land denim bag. But the back is the best part. It says Daddy O Daddy. Daddy O Daddy. <laughs> it says it over here too. It must be like a brand or something. That's so funny. Why would anybody? I don't. I don't know. Daddy O Daddy. Yes, they actually have a sweater that just says Mickey Waffle. And then also Mickey Burger, which I don't think they sell currently. They sell merch for it. So Kitra's been looking all over for a black version of this. And guess what? We found them. <laughs> so I'm grabbing two. One for me and one for my friend. What do you think? I love it. I kind of like this Tokyo Disney Resort bag. On one side it has Mickey with some stuff from Disneyland. And on the other side it has Minnie with Disney Sea. Another interesting bag I found here is these Mickey balloons. So they have them in blue or pink in it. It zips and you can fit something in there. These bags are so ridiculous. Those are kind of everything. I love it. I don't even think your I, your phone would yeah, fit in what? there. What oh, maybe, yeah. Oh, come on now. These bags are just adorable. They're sleeping. So we went on Beauty and the Beast again. I didn't record anything, but the castle is beautiful at night. I didn't think I was going to cry a second time, but I did. <laughs> that ride is so beautiful. It might be my favorite ride of all time. Just saying. And now we're gonna go to Star Tours, which is I think is the same as the one in Disneyland, but we have to do everything. Whoa. And also there's only a five minute wait, but OMG, they have a huge Star Speeder 1000 on the ceiling. It looks incredible. Okay, this is worth it alone for Japanese talking C3PO. Oh my god, not only do we have Rex, but we have a bunch of hitchhiking droids. So good. I didn't know anything about this. Wow. Oh my god, who is this guy? I don't know, it looks like a little snail droid or something. There's all sorts of droids in here. A lot more than our Star Tours. <laughs> okay, we don't have any of these Easter eggs in our Star Tours. Uh -oh. Stormtrooper helmet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, I wish they had this in America. It's Aladdin's lamp. <laughs> G290 
Oh my god, it's an Ewok playing a Stormtrooper helmet. Why is this so much better than our Star Tours? So much better. Already. Okay, I think we actually found Rex here because it says defective, return to factory. For your safety, remain seated throughout your flight with your restraints securely fastened. And please watch your children. A few moments later. The terminal where you board the Star Tours vehicle seemed totally different. There was like six different launch pods. And the ride itself was basically the same, except for it was in Japanese. Seeing Yoda speak Japanese was amazing. But exiting the whole thing, you get to go over this walkway that goes over Tomorrowland. It's pretty cool. The other day when we were here, we were looking down at this show over here called Club Mouse Beat, and I wanted to be in there so bad. And good news, today I actually got an entry pass, and we're gonna be able to see the show at night with all the neon, and I'm so excited.
somehow in their 40th anniversary outfits to the iconic Living in Color song that we all know and love at this point. <laughs> that was great. I loved it. It was so cute. It was a lot of fun. If you want to see the rest of our Japan series, we'll put the videos right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Sean, Mason, and Random Recess. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.